looking within to examine, to expose to ourselves what we make an enemy out of is the most important step in ending division. Ending division in what we might call internally and externally. Essentially, there is no ex internal or external. Mm. What we see and perceive and experience is all happening in the field of consciousness. But before we can seemingly look outwards, we must look within, because that's where it starts. What we see externally is a culmination of accumulated we could call it darkness or ignorance, ignorance of true nature, which is where the divided state begins. Yeah. An accumulation of that ignorance of true nature, culminating as external or worldly circumstances. So we must look to the root of that divided state, what we might call duality. And I'm not referring to the kind of duality that says there's an object here, an object there, a person here, a person there. I'm talking about the kind of duality within, the duality of that gives rise to the argument with what is. So let's begin within. What do we make an enemy out of? What do we suppress? What do we push away, reject? into the shadow lands within. And here I'm really talking about feelings, where conditioned or trained to cover up, to suppress that which we don't like to feel. And we are feeling organisms. I'm talking about feelings, essentially, not yet emotions. Yeah, Just the felt sense. A felt sense can be hurt, heartbreak, sadness, ouch, <laughs> whatever it is. Yeah, An energy, intensity. So we're trained to believe somehow unconsciously or consciously that feeling that it is uncomfortable or powerful or intense or seemingly overwhelming is something to push away, to deny, to cover up. Yeah, it starts when in childhood starts in society, starts in schools. Yeah. And, and this is where we make an enemy out of our direct felt sense that has many 
ramifications, many byproducts, we start to maneuver and contort ourselves into being good or being right or being seeking approval or only having good feelings and so on and so on. So already we have moved away from our authentic self, our direct felt sense, which is innocent and natural. And as we move away from that, in terms of avoiding, suppressing, yeah, feeling the direct felt sense, then we also start to compartmentalize ourselves into thoughts, good thoughts, bad thoughts, positive thoughts, negative thoughts, and then it goes out into opinions and beliefs and position taking. Yeah, so already we have completely moved away from our what you would call non-dual wholeness, our innate wholeness, which is indivisible. So although it sounds in some ways harmless to suppress an emotion, to push it away, to try and be feel good, <laughs> feel happy, feel this, feel that, rather than allow whatever is here just to be here, to feel it, to experience it, to be open to it. Yeah, although that seems in some ways harmless given what goes on in, in, in the world, on, on the world stage, it's not really that harmless. It not only does it have yeah, an impact on our overall well-being, on our immunity, but it has an impact on our true happiness, <laughs> our peace, a peace that isn't just a kind of cover-up peace, la, 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 I'm okay, yeah, but true peace, the peace that has a real impact on our relationship to ourselves, to each other, and to the wider context of the world, to all beings. 